and welcome to Blood Bowl. Okay, so I've been meaning to do this series for a while. This is going to be a uh, in-depth look at, at Blood Bowl. How to play Blood Bowl from the perspective of someone. Uh, well, I'm going to be addressing it as if you've never played in your entire life. And so um, we're going to go from start to finish, covering the basics, progressing to the advanced, and um, we're going to build a team, this human team here, for the purposes of the tutorial. Um, there's plenty of teams, but we'll get into that um, later on. But like I said, we're going to go with just your basic humans, and I think that's a good team to start off with if you're learning the game because, um, you know, they're, they're pretty balanced. They have, um, they have a, a lot of different players that, um, well, let's put it this way. If you learn the humans, uh, you shouldn't have a problem learning the other teams, okay? You'll get a good idea of how to play. So I think that's the team we're going to start off with. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to commit to that right now. So um, Blood Bowl is a game where f it's like a mix of fantasy and sports. Probably the best way to summarize it. It's a board game uh, produced by Games Workshop. And um, it's turn-based and you use uh, miniatures to represent your men. And uh, the object of the game is pretty simple. Get a guy with the ball into the end zone, score a point. Player with the most points at the end of the game is the winner. So in the introduction, we'll just go over what you need to play. Let's start off with the dugout. Now, if you buy the box set, you're going to get two dugouts. One for each team and you'll see that they're divided up into sections. You've got your uh, reserves and you've got a uh, section for knocked out players and a section for dead and injured players because this is Blood Bowl and people will die. Now just below that is a section for your turns. You see there's a first half and a second half, and they both consist of eight turns each. And then just below that are uh, counters for rerolls. Now this is a game that uh, dice are used to determine success or fails, and uh, rerolls allow you to... Um, it gives you a chance to re-roll the dice in case you don't like that first result. And that's going to happen. Trust me. Okay, so what else do you need? You need what we call a pass ruler. And because it's this one is see-through, it's kind of hard to read what's on it, but I'll just tell you. The first section is quick pass. The next section is short pass. Then you have the long pass and then the um, ever cool long bomb. You also need this crowd throw in template, a scatter template. You're going to need a few uh, six sided dice or what we call the six. You will need blocking dice. You will need a uh, Eight-sided dice, something to represent the football, and of course you'll need a team and the board to play on. Last but not least, you need the uh, rule book. Okay, so all of that comes in the. Uh, the box set. 
I will, I have to mention this, the uh, rule book that comes in the box set is very outdated. Um, just go to G the Games uh, Workshop website, download the newest version of the rules, which is LRB6, Living Rule Book 6. Um, and you'll know it by this title here. They call it the Blood Bowl Competition Rules because, well, I don't want to get too far into it, but GW um, is claiming that that old, outdated book is the official rules. And the downloaded version, the downloadable PDF is the competition rules. But let's let's make one thing clear. Um, everyone's playing the quote unquote competition rules. Those are the rules actually developed by the rules committee, which is made up of you know um, players and game designers, and it actually. As one of the um, cool features about this game is that um, that the players have had some say, and it's really um, balanced the game out and made it uh, a lot more um, clear and concise. Okay, so those are the basics. Um, you know, uh, Blood Bowl is. If you're thinking about playing, the only other thing I would add is that um, the basic box set goes for about 70 bucks, and you split it with a friend because you know it comes with two teams. It comes with uh, humans and orcs. There's 12 players each, and you only need 11 to field a uh, uh, a legal team, and you can only have 16. So you actually do have one guy, one reserve there. So it's not bad. Do you have to buy the box set? No, you do not. In fact, because the rules are free and these templates can be downloaded off that wonderful thing we call the interwebs, um, all you really need, and you can build your own pitch, right? Which I have done here. Um, all you really need is to download the stuff and build your team. Uh, so it has a very low price point. Uh, just something that if you were curious about um, how much it costs to get started, well, the basic box set's about 70 bucks. Um, split that with the friend, it's pretty affordable. If you guys are interested in other teams, um, Games Workshop, uh, they make most of the teams, uh, they don't make the slan, but there are third party, uh, miniature producers that will do that. And the third party guys actually do a really good job on, um, on the other teams as well. Um, so you're looking at a price point anywhere between... I'd say honestly, thirty and a hundred dollars can get you in this game, depending on how you know um, how much you're willing to spend on your team. That's really going to be the most expensive part because you can build a pitch, and they have downloadable pitches now. Pitch is the uh, what they call the field. So there's some templates um, that you can download and print out as well. So so you can get in for you know, 30, 40 bucks. But if you really want a nice looking team, some of those teams can get expensive. They could, you know, get up in that $100 range. But, you know, that is for the uh, the hobbyist, the guy that uh, really, you know, wants quality miniatures. Uh, I've seen people convert their fantasy, extra fantasy figures into teams I think that's awesome. And, you know, I've seen people use Legos to play the game. So, um, price point varies, but it, for miniature games, it goes, um, it's pretty cheap to get into. And uh, it's a really fun game, which um, we will get into. And hopefully, uh, 
you'll find out with me as we go through this little tutorial. So that's it for the introduction. Um, I'm trying to keep these videos around 10 minutes, so that's it, and I'll see you in the next one.